What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Epic Tube HD. Uh, it's not as awesome as it would normally be because this time I don't got the kids with me. I'm going solo, so hope you guys will enjoy this. This video, we have another box from the Golden War Turtle. So let's jump right into this and see what we got. Uh, the next videos we have coming out Walk, look out for our Rebel Clash booster box opening. Uh, we'll be opening half a box, I believe. And then, of course, we're going to continue that search for the Rainbow Charizard in our Burning Shadow series. And then I believe we're going to try and open up one more booster box of Unbroken Bonds. So definitely subscribe to the channel, guys. If you're not subscribed already, smash that thumbs button, thumbs up button. Let's get into it, guys. Let's go ahead and break this puppy open. Here we go. Now this came pretty quickly. It's not a mystery box, guys. I know it's in here. However, he did say he threw a little something special in there. Uh, nothing too too great, but I know he did a little something. So what do we got? Oh yeah, look at that. You see that in the upper camera, guys, right there? So unfortunately, when I was buying the baby that's sitting right in there, I was supposed to buy two. Because of the issues with money getting caught up, unfortunately, it outpaced me and I wasn't able to buy two. My next thing I was gonna buy was this right here, guys. I was gonna buy a first edition fossil, but again, the inflation cost rose so quickly, I wasn't able to afford it. Um, so I got the next best thing, an empty box. <laughs> so the Golden War Turtle, he, um, he had a first ad, he sold most of the packs. Check his eBay out, the Golden War Turtle uh, eBay. Um, you can also find him on Instagram. He does the Discord as well, the um, and the Hydro Pump Pokecast with NC Packbuster. If you're interested in getting more packs, he has more stuff. But I asked him if I could have the box. A um, little bent up. It's a little, you know, he's been using it to sell out of. So I hear something rattling inside. Let's see. Oh, sweet. Oh, okay, yeah, I see it now. He put in Gym Challenge First Edition Artwork Packs. Look at that, all four. Actually, three. Oh, oh, he put a Venusaur pack in here. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Love it, love it. That's an Unlimited, and these are First Edition. So we got Blaine, the boss man himself. And yeah, that's pretty cool, man. So we'll put those right in here, but this is what I'm happy about. Very happy. Look at that on the outside right there. So this will be a nice little addition. Now, if you don't know, empty boxes are, are selling for quite a bit now. It's gotten that insane. People want this stuff so badly. So thank you so much, uh, Adam from Gold, the Golden War Turtle for hooking me up with this box. That's pretty cool. We'll set this right over here. Then what else do we have in here? Uh, we have two packs right here, which I believe I won. I won them uh, in a contest. Then we have these two, which is what I'm looking for, and that's it. So, as his son Bryce would say, so we'll open these two last. I know what these are. I'm not positive exactly what these are because I completely forgot what it was that he was giving away. So let's break into this. So I can feel it right there. All right, crack this puppy open. All right, I see right now it is a PSA card. I didn't know actually it was gonna be a PSA card. I thought it was gonna be just a regular card. So um, shows you how much I pay attention, guys. Sadly. So are we ready to flip it over and see what it is? Go door. Ha ha! Check. Oh dang, dude. <gasps> First edition Squirtle Team Rocket. Oh, that'll go really, really sweet with this bad boy right here. My first edition Dark Charizard. These are my only two Team Rockets that I have. And Team Rocket is my second favorite all-time set. 
I love the Team Rocket set. We'll put you right there, boy. And we ready? Let's take a look. I'm before I, I'm gonna guess because I'm trying to learn how to how to grade the cards as I've been looking my stuff over. It looks beautiful. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with centering. I mean, I don't see any issues at all. These cards are usually pretty good. So, a little bit of white right there. That's it. I don't know. If, let's see now. That little bit of whiting. Will that make it a change? Let's find out. Here we go. One, two, three. Bam. It's a nine. Okay. I was going to say a nine because of that whiting on the corner. Yeah. I'm trying to learn how to grade a little bit better so that way I know what cards I'm looking for. So that little tiny bit of white right there looks like it gave it the nine. That is awesome, guys. I mean, I'm super stoked over this. Thank you again. That's an awesome, awesome pickup right there. And then we have another one. And another one. Let's go ahead and take a look. See what's in the purple. Fuchsia. Okay, it's another graded card. Again, I honestly totally forgot what the giveaway was. So here we go. It's another PSA. Flip it over. Oh, sweet. Dude, another first edition golem. I never owned for, you know, living in New York City back when Pokemon came out, uh, you just, you never found first edition. Of course, I didn't really go to too many card shops. We used to go to like Kmart. Um, I can't remember what other stores we had back then that we used to go to. Of course, Toys R Us, but they never had first edition. It was always unlimited. So I never had a chance to really collect first edition. So these are my first, first editions. Pretty pumped over this. I love this. Golem. Golem is a fire Pokemon. I love using a Pokemon Go. Check that out. All right, now let's do the take a great a guess at the grade again. So centering is very good. Little thick on top. I don't think that's enough to really say that would be less than a 10. It looks beautiful though. I don't see. Uh, maybe a little something down here a little something let's go ahead and take a look I'm gonna go with I mean I gotta say 10 I don't know what else it could be because I don't see anything wrong it's a 9 it is a 9 again super awesome I gotta learn and understand how these grades get this way though because I don't understand how they grade um, I guess that little nick right there is probably the reason but dude I mean first edition cards I, there, there's nothing you can say about that i mean they're awesome and they're graded so these are our first slabs that we've been getting recently super pumped again thank you so much man i'm seriously happy this is freaking awesome as heck we'll put him right here with his buddy who will be getting graded now this is the card that leon hot got me um so i have no idea what it's gonna grade I believe it's going to grade between an 8 and a 9. I've looked it over pretty good. I don't see anything on it that says it would be less than an 8. I don't see anything that would make it better than a 9. Because on the back side of the card, uh, down in the bottom, there was a little tiny bit of chipping. So if they're giving that little tiny chip there a 9, this probably won't get any better than a 9 itself. It does have a swirl on the ear or the the horn there's a swirl on this charizard so that is my pride and joy right there i gotta get it graded though so let's go ahead and open up what's next whoops put this right back here we'll put these here actually i don't think you can even see these on here let's move this over a bit so these are our booster boxes we still have yet to open um that's the unbroken bonds and over here we got our burning shadows still and this doesn't count the ones that I've put away in storage. So um, we will not be opening a box each of those. Those are being the same. So let's go ahead and check these out, guys. I know what these are. And I am super excited to add this to the collection. Are we ready, guys? Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Lockdown. There we go. Get that out of here. Pretty, pretty sweet. Here we go. Minty, minty fresh. Look at that. The seal is perfect. The box is absolutely perfect. It's gorgeous, guys. This will definitely be joining the jungles that we picked up. And I know everybody's going to think they know what this is, but I bet you you don't. 
it's not as exciting as it sounds. So here we go. Second one. Dun dun dun! <laughs> yes. I skipped the wheezing one for now. I'm probably gonna still try and buy it from him. He just got another shipment in of these um, deck boxes. So I'll probably get the wheezing from him too. But I wanted to open one because I want that Lapras. I want the Lapras. So I'm going to open this box for you guys right now. Yeah, it's happening. This box is probably the, they both have the same little mark in the same spot. How crazy is that? They look great. There's almost, there's almost no difference. They're both mint. Mint, mint, mint. But this one is more noticeable. So we'll hang on to this one. We're going to open it up, guys. Are you ready? We're breaking in. We're breaking into it. Here we go. And he knows this was coming. I told him that I was. this is what I was going to do. So let's go ahead. And we're going to try and Gary the Pawn Shop this. We're going to hack it here. Because I really want to keep this thing sealed as best as possible. So... I want to keep the seal on it because you know as collectors i'm not a seller I'm, I'm a pure collector guys i mean of course i've sold a few things here and there but i'm a sell i'm, I'm a collector 100 i would never class myself as a seller if i had the money would i try to sell probably but i'm about collecting i'm about looking out for the future of my kids you know when they get older you know they can look back and be happy that they have this collection so here we go ah uh, Oh, yeah, look at that. Dude, I'm so excited. The last time I opened one of these up was in probably 2000. 99, 2000, probably 2000, not 99. And it was probably from Kmart or Toys R Us, one or the other. In Valley Stream, Long Island. Because that's where the Toys R Us was. Right across from White Castles. So, wow, look at that. The bag is like crusty looking because it's so old. The marbles, look at that. That is so sweet, guys. Oh my God, dude, this is so, uh, this is so exciting. This is my second time opening something vintage. Well, obviously we opened up the pack he sent us, the jungle pack. That was the first time I've opened anything recently. This is the second. And there she blows, boys and girls. Oh, oh my God, dude. This is freaking Awesome. I almost don't even want to open it. I'm not gonna lie. It's making me rethink, but I already cracked the box It looks gorgeous. I can't see uh, Yeah, I see print lines already Yeah print lines already. I can see even with the plastic on I see one Two three I See three print lines on it already going all the way across so there goes the 10. I was really hoping we were gonna get really, really lucky and get a 10 out of it. So here's the original book, the rule book, version three. Because of course, you know, Fossil came out after Base and Jungle. Check that out. Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. This is mint, mint. It's for sale, guys, if you wanna buy the booklet. <laughs> Uh, probably not up for sale, but oh, oh, look at that Aerodactyl coin. <gasps> oh, I'm trying to get it on the camera right. Look at that. Oh, that's so sweet. And then this side, Nintendo Wizards of the Coast, guys. If you're using GoPro, you're supposed to say six inches away in order for it to stay focused. So I gotta remember that. Here is our cards list. Check this out. Oh, it's not quite mint. Look at that, a little tiny bent up here. Oh, that stinks right there. Let's see, you can see that. See it right there. It's got a little, little, little crease. That's years and years, that ain't getting fixed. That's years and years of crease. Wow, check this out. And there are the other boxes. Now, I really, really want this box. I want Overgrowth. And I would love, of course, Zap. Zap's hard to get now. And Zap is the most expensive one. And Brushfire. But 
I definitely want Overgrowth, Brush Fire, and Zap if I can get them. Uh, Blackout would be cool too, but I really want um, Overgrowth and Brush Fire. Those are the main ones I would love to get first. Check that out. Dude, these are so minty. Dude, this is awesome. First time I've opened this. All right, how am I gonna open this without? Oh God, this is, here we go. I'm gonna, as delicate as I can. This blade used to be very, very sharp, but I've been having to cut cardboard a lot lately because the recycle centers are closed. So I've been having to cut it up into little pieces and putting it in garbage bags. I don't even want to get close to the cards with this thing. I have scissors. Maybe I can slide the scissors through here. It's like performing surgery or something. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got it open. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. This is so freaking... Wow, I'm, I'm trying to be absolutely as, as delicate as possible. There we go, it's lifting up now. Here we go. There we go, got it. Oh man, it's full of print lines. Full of print lines. Let me set this down real quick. Here we go. There she blows. Lapras. It is the unlimited. Now let's see if I can get this. See all those print lines, guys? See them there? I'm looking through the camera and I see them. They're right there. You can see them. Yeah, full of print lines, man. That really stinks. But let's take a look. Centering? Pretty good. Uh, I would call it a little thicker here, a little thinner here, just slightly off center. Um, the cut looks great. Oh wow, the, the back. Print line on the back right here. There's a print line, guys, on the back of the card. Uh, definitely off center, I see it now. So, you know, it happens. It's the way it goes. I still will uh, get it graded at some point. Um, I did purchase a PSA membership. Literally, I haven't said it at all, but I, I purchased it right when they closed. And I haven't been able to do anything with it since. And now I don't really have the funds to fully send in everything I want. So um, I'm I'm just waiting to get a, little, a few of the funds together and I'll probably send something in. So we'll see what happens. I mean, I just purchased PSA for a year. So, I mean, I'm probably gonna go with that first and then who knows, but we'll see. But yeah, I am i can't say that I'm not disappointed. I'm definitely disappointed. I thought the card would be a little bit more mintier than this. There's a huge line here, a huge line here. I mean, there's at least one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven print lines, big print lines that I see, including one in the back. However, we shall still sleeve them up. It'll probably get an eight, I would imagine. There we go. So that's it, guys, uh, for this video. Whoops, you guys want to stand up. Oh, hold on. Before I go, let's take a look at the rest of our bad boys here, because these are all OGs right here. Here we go. We got our Magmars, Horsey. We got... Cedra. Also, need to look, make sure there's no airs in here. We got Krabbies. Bunch of crabs. We got the Kingla. Looks good. Ooh, there's our Vulpix. There we go. Bonita. Bonita. We got the Gambla. Energy Switch. Bill. Switch. Potion. Super Potion. And then all of these energies so yeah we'll be going through these just to make sure there's no errors in those and that is it guys 
Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna give out some code cards unexpectedly you guys probably weren't thinking about. Here's some Hidden Fates code cards that I got. So here's a couple for you. Um, I go into the room and I raid the kids stuff to see if they have any sitting around. And as far as I know, these are unused. So um, they normally put a rip in them. They know to do that when we use them. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Vintage opening. It's our first real true vintage opening on the channel. Hope you enjoyed. Smash that like button if you really liked it. Subscribe to the channel for a lot more content, guys. And click the little bell. Get all the notifications. And, of course, have more epic adventures with the two HT guys. See ya!